Good morning. My name is Nicole. I'm one of the pastors at Glencliff United Methodist Church. And I just wanted to share a quick update today just about what we talked about in our Sunday gathering this morning and share some announcements in case you missed them. So I will begin by lighting a candle just to recognize that the light of Christ is always within us and uniting us even when we are apart. I'll start off with some announcements today. Uh, it is Holy Week, so on Friday, it's Good Friday, and we'll be joining Glendale UMC's outdoor worship. Um, so check Facebook for more details about times and where to go and things like that. Um, and then Easter is also on Sunday, and we'll be having a hybrid service. So we'll have both in person and online. And would love to see you either way, in whatever way you are comfortable to join. Um, continue to check Facebook again for more details on that as well. And then we also have a couple of birthdays. We have Valerie's, whose was yesterday, March 27th. And Teresa's is on April 4th. So we just join in celebrating their lives and are grateful for both of them. And then some past, uh, some prayer requests that we have this week are just um, lifting up prayers for everyone who's been affected by the tornadoes this week and the floods. Um, Nashville's been through a lot from the floods of 2010 to the tornadoes last year and now this. So um, there's just been a lot of damage and we continue to lift up and help anyone who we can. We also continue to pray for Carmen and Smokey and Richard this week. They could use some prayers. Uh, so I'll start us off by reading a prayer by Cole Arthur Riley this morning. Let's pray. God of the Palms, thank you for drawing near to us. We have known what it is to encounter help. That isn't truly help, but that centers itself and its own image above the suffering. We have known white savior complexes and the narrative of white heroism, which has always secretly delighted in suffering. So it might be the hero again and again. Thank you for showing us a different way. A God who rejects privilege a God who is unbothered by sitting on a donkey if it means you are drawing near to us. As we wait, take away the fear. It has settled on our souls and it is difficult to trust that something good might be coming in the wake of suffering and trauma. Let ours be a Palm Sunday that speaks the language of lament, of grief a hope that has not forgotten. Amen. So a little bit about what we talked about this morning during our Sunday gathering. Um, again, it is Palm Sunday. And on Palm Sunday, Jesus traveled to Jerusalem, which eventually did lead to his crucifixion and resurrection, which we'll focus on next weekend. Um, but on his way to Jerusalem, which we recognize on Palm Sunday, a crowd welcomed Jesus with palm branches and shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. This crowd was celebrating the arrival of Jesus, who throughout his ministry had traveled to heal the sick and call out injustices and journey with those who suffered. So this Palm Sunday, we continue to focus on these issues of faith and justice in our study because it is so connected. It's what Jesus represented in his ministry. So this morning we talked about racism and we read Isaiah chapter 50 verses 4 through 9. 
and shared about how God sustains the weary and is present with those who are suffering. We also discussed important ways we can respect and acknowledge the dignity in everyone as something that comes from God. So let us enter into this Holy Week by shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. And by recognizing the ways that Jesus teaches us to accompany those who are oppressed and suffering. Thank you, and we hope to see you next week.